Now, I think I know what you're thinking. What the hell is going on? Honestly, I found some bit of change. <laughs> but I'll just do some of those fishing elegans. Just see how things roll out. But, yeah. Uh, Final Fantasy XIV. Hello. Yes. Roll a lift. It's weird. <laughs> yeah, I've actually been having fun with this a lot of it. And I have played way too much for the past few days. <laughs> well, past few days. Past few months, rather. Um... This is kind of what I do in my downtime when I'm not recording, and it's kind of fun for me. Just it gives me something to do. <laughs> I've actually been having a ton of fun. That's some nice cheap. Come on, really? Damn DPS! It's actually been a lot of fun for me because I can just like relax and just mess around. Um, yeah, I play a decent character. I'd like to say I've kind of gone nuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so this is Final Fantasy XIV. You might know it. It's kind of a big RPG. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's fun. It's... I don't know what else to say, really. I was hoping to be in the fight already, so when I was doing this, it would be about the map itself, not about the bloody game. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh, there we go. And someone says no. Just for reference, I'm recording this at like 10 a.m. Oh, hello. I'm recording this at like 10 a.m. Like I've, 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 that sounds like I've just woken up. I haven't. I've been up for a while. You can see the time in the corner. Uh, I play only play on the American servers anyway. But it, it's plenty of my time. I don't know how many people are going to be online. Oh, hey, it's winning. Nice. do this. I actually like this winning. It's a really fun one. Uh, this is one of the two bonus dungeons, I quote. After the uh, end of the uh, Shadow Ringers, you get the chance to unlock two extra dungeons for the expert roulette if you want. Uh, one's twinning, which is this. The other is not that. Yes, but if you're going to press the right buttons, uh, the other is the Academia. Okay, you can go to the Heights of All Might. <laughs> and honestly, like this one's probably got the best story for me, but I think the other one's got the more interesting notes. Uh, for instance, this is actually like a towel from the if that makes any sense. And it's just one of those things. It, it's when you get the fights going, it's actually really fun. So if you've never played Final Fantasy XIV before and you're like, what the hell's going on? I'm a gunbreaker, which is a tank class. Tank classes, our job is basically be the meat shield. We're not weak by any means, but we are the ones that are going to draw the fire. Wow, these dogs are open. Uh -oh. Um. So my job is more or less draw their attention, keep them on me, not on the rest of the party. The Padra is a white mage, as you can tell from the symbol. Oh, that's scholar. That's scholar. Oops. Uh, they're the healer of the party for now. There's three of them. No, the three types. Scholar tends to be about damage mitigation and support. Well, I've started. Damn it! There's me in the chat. Um, yeah, Scarlet tends to be about uh, damage mitigation and support, which is more uh, their style. Which actually really, 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 I love playing Scarlet. We've got a gun. I got Marcanist. Marcanist tends to be about their gadgets. They aren't a high damage class. I like really like these things. They aren't a massive damage class, but they do a lot when they get going. And Dancer is more support DPS. These two tend to be really squishy, but they have their individual roles, which I'll play to. And my thing, as you can see from the top right, I have a symbol. I basically, that's basically where I made my gunbreaker stance, my tank stance as well, for Royal Guard. And this is our ammo. Gunbreaker's uh, gimmick, if you'll call it that, is that we have skills that rely on having ammo. Really powerful skills as this lot and uh, Fate Circle. 
and you know, get your ammo up, get going, and you know, such and such. Maybe keep it going at this point. <laughs> um, yeah. So we tend to be the ones that just like go in and do damage. Like, I love my gun breakers. They, they tend to be that. Oh, wow. Bang. Oh, you can I didn't say you could attack them, did I? Git. And the problem never really got that near. Whee! By the way, that flamethrower is the Machinist. It's actually really funny when it gets going. Just the amount of damage they can do at higher levels. Just to tear the enemy apart. I can be really fun to see. Hey, it doesn't look like I'm doing much. I, just annoyingly, the matter right now is big pulls into um, just AoE C, which I don't like, but hey, it works. And I tend to get yelled at for not doing so. Like, I will grant, like, the community. Oh, shit. How? The community is really neat when it comes to it. It will, is very welcome. Like, it doesn't feel like yesterday I started, like, tanking in general. Like, I love my tank rolls. You give me a tank, I can probably handle it. I say probably handle it. You give me a tank roll, I'll be happy. I can solve a lot of things. Like, I've been through the entire game as tanks at this point. I think it was like one arc where I finished with Red Mage. Okay, first boss of this area is Alpha Sagnol. This guy's fun because he can break the chambers, so let's go. 55 entry. So his gimmick is the capsules around the area. He can break them if he wants to. Uh, it's more... If you line up wrongly, oh god, that's dumb. If you line up wrongly, he will break the chambers. I guess the best way of putting it. Thank you. And he'll get reinforcements, which we don't want. Drop the rolls of being on myself. It's on two. Did you look above? The swords actually tell you what all you're in. It didn't by wow, boss. Ow. It varies my boss, but that's generally how it goes. Ow, let's dance. That's an AoE. I want to throw this. That's the out physical. I called it wrong. The half stone here. So I had to give him my brutal shell, which is basically, hey, I've got damage absorption. It does mean I'm kind of vulnerable, but again, tank. Stab, stab, stab. Stack. Oh god, it's not going to is it? Oh no. Shoot you there. No, we haven't. I don't know if I can help it. Uh, another one of these. I need to stand back here. I'm first on the list. Should be fine. Uh, everyone's heal. Five percent. Nearly down. Reload. Come on, come on! Got ya. Half of defense. Oh, this again! Great! Why must you hurt me like this? <laughs> it's like the person I wanted to. I'm going down now! There we go. One down. What do we get? Anything good? Uh, aiming and slaying. Okay, slaying. 
So it's one of the things in later, game, in later editions, I guess, areas, they t they focus these things down into area into actual types. That's law, by the way. Um, basically saying, hey, this is offending item, this is slaying such. Each one goes towards a certain type class, which I don't like because it bluntly basically makes it so. Hey, fending goes on tank classes. Uh, slaying is for melee DPS that isn't ninja or dragoon. Right. Yeah, any, any melee DPS that isn't. Uh, excuse me! Yeah, any melee DPS that isn't... I will eventually get this out. Uh, ninja. There we go. Which I get at the same time, I don't like. Like, it makes things easier just to keep things going, to just go, hey, this is for... I don't get it. No, I don't know. This is all for the same class, so hey, you can all just ship this on. So. And that just Because I did feel like the video was just like, hey, this goes in all cycles of war. All, all the disciplines of war, sorry, where. And now it's just, hey, this is all restricted and stuff like that. And then, some of the stuff I just don't like for certain classes. Why don't you use that? Because, like, Gunbreaker, I don't see wearing heavy armor. Paladin, I do. Warrior, Mead. No, no, I don't see wearing heavy armor. Let's go for the big one again. Like, I, I do think the, the way they've separated it up has actually hurt some of the diversity of the... Like, I'm not saying tanks didn't get unique stuff before. Like, they had heavy armor. Like, actual plate mail. But I just think they could have done it a bit better. Like, varied it up a bit within the class. Because, like, again, like I said, I don't see Gunbreaker wearing heavy armor as a thing. Why am I dying? I think can't see the I need to... I need to burn something soon. I think we're good. Yeah, we're, we're out of here again. Uh, yeah, we can get out of there, so it's good. So. My face! I see an AoE. Ah, oh, it's too late. Second boss. I forget this guy. I know it's Dodge J O E. Not Castle Lava. If you can't tell, by the way, I'm still trying to get used to the um, change. Like a movies over here. We're in the way of something. Right, let's go. I think this guy is delayed A O E. He marks where they go, and you've got to get out of the way. Yeah, I can't remember this one again. I know it's hers. Yeah, those those are uh, AOEs that you have to avoid. Which is fun, because uh, the other side of things with uh, Academia, the final boss has the same kind of thing, but you go collect the orbs to get powers. Which, you know, we've got dodgy AOE, as you can see! <laughs> Thank God we got a ranged party! Come on, come on! We've got Aiden to get the rest of it. If you can't tell, by the way, a lot of this is actually based on Far Fantasy VIII for Gunbreaker. Which is annoying, because I didn't, at the same time, I didn't think they were so based around, like, Stella stuff. Like I know you got the you actually have part where you went into space. But I didn't think they were so heavily um, based around the stars and such. 
button here. Here, this is gonna hurt one way or another. I went to the wrong place, I could have gone over there. Yeah, heal, I can't do it yet, but we can throw that on here. Talk nebula, I keep forgetting my pull downs. I can try to teach two people how to tank, and I'm forgetting my own damn lessons. Probably be three people to sing, but I don't know. First, I understand that. Yo, dear. Hmm. This could hurt. Yeah, one of the things I like about Gunbreaker is it really does suit a a tank, a support tank role. Like I can throw my uh, buffs around to anyone in the party in most cases, uh, while I do still have my own. I done that in the wrong time. We've got fending. Uh -huh. I'll need that even though I've got better. Because uh, Eden Gate gear is actually the best. Compared to Shadow, forget what that thing is. Let's do this. What? Hi! I got all three. Let's keep moving. Look, this is gonna hurt one way or another. That embrace, by the way, it's um, I don't know which one they've summoned. Aos. Looks like Aos. Uh, the fairy Eos, or Eos, however you want to say it, uh, will just randomly cast a few other times. What are you doing? Get back here! Get! Why not use a good vibe? Wasn't oh god! Oh, da, 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 da. I've got no buffs! I've got no buffs! Got an Aurora. Should be fine. Should be fine. Let's keep going. There we go. One down. Here we go. Two. Three. Four. Five. Really stupid switching out you using the AOE now. Let's do it. Bingo. Okay. I haven't had to burn Super Bowl yet, yeah, that's a good sign. Nothing is coming out alright. Wrong button, damn it. Not mean to lightning shot there. Uh Shield Samba. Uh Shield Samba's the bench Now these things are fun to fight. Because they actually fire an AoE that goes around them apart from under them. And we're fighting three of them. Like this. This does hurt if you get it wrong. Oh crap, did I get wrong? This is a fated circle. Getting more ammo. They're safe. Throw up an aurora. Let's do the circle again. Let's go here. If we get rid of these uh, thermo coolers, we're actually fine. They're the ones that are causing trouble. The bar keep moving to avoid their damn AoE. Which isn't ending well for a huge here. Again. So I've got one there. If I stand here, fine. Now just the thermal tools, which we can take out normally. 
think it's the last wave before uh, the boss. Yes. Boss of this dungeon is the Tycoon. Thank you. I do love this because this is Alexander. And there's, there is an Alexander right there. If you look around, these are all like business in the future. It's really neat when you go. I think you're fine, we're actually in that one. So, trick with the tycoon. Tank it in the center of the room as best you can. Eventually, it will bring down these. Do I get out of their way? You see? There you go. And these pores. You do not want to stand in the way of either them in, in pores or them in motion. It hurts a lot. I think it actually hurts more of you standing in the way when they're frozen like that. So. Just it goes from the rings, which I think I'm safe here. Hello. Camouflage. Sure. Yep. It's a big one. Delayed AoEs. Which you want to stand out of the way up so you can all find me. Yep. Otherwise, this guy isn't that bad once you know how to find him. That's going to be good. <laughs> My face! I regret standing there. <laughs> um, it, I have to throw up an AI. Uh, we're not far from winning. We can just we're not hold off now. We're good. The only way this guy isn't that bad once you get going. It's getting used to everything he does that actually catches people out. Or not, I think I've just screwed myself. Ah ha 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 ha! Yep. That hurt. I called that one wrong. Oh, shit. Uh, he, uh, should just be fine. Or not! That stands in the way. I want to be over this side. Uh, that's going to get me hit. I'm going to have to take that hit. Thanks, game! Just throw everything at me. Oh, wait, I missed? How? <laughs> Here we go. I'm gonna see. Why am I burning a limit break? It's not. It's just hanging there. Thank you! I love, I love pulling out Eevee's shop, I don't know why. Standing about here, unless he does the one that goes in front. Oh, I want to find a better place to hide because <laughs> this is gonna sting. <laughs> I'm good. You are not. Uh, you heal. That's yeah, super bleed. Super bleed leaves me on one HP, but gives me invulnerability against most things. Thank God we made that. And then, like I had that one macro just because of it's 
worth knowing when to heal people, in my opinion. Oh hey, go for three, three. It's worth knowing when you should heal people because if you're going to do something, oh, no commands, of course. Uh, if you're going to do something like that, then you do not want to be burning a full heal on them, and they're just about to get super bullied. But annoying, weirdly, super bullied is unique among all the invons. Uh, death, well, I guess death avoidance that you get with gun. They get with tanks because it's the only one that leaves you on one HP. That was a good 25 minutes. Let's move on. Uh